Given the choice between right and wrong, I know exactly what you would choose. But how do you choose between right and right? Abraham Lincoln, or Honest Abe as he is sometimes referred to, had the reputation of having a morbid compulsion for honesty. Before becoming a politician, Lincoln was a lawyer. He once defended a client, only to discover in the middle of the trial that the man was actually guilty. Lincoln turned to his associate, Leonard Sweat, and said, Sweat, the man is guilty. You defend him, I can't. And he quit, giving up a large fee. For Lincoln, that was an easy decision between right and wrong, between being honest and dishonest, between being true to himself and compromising on his values. When he became a politician, things became more complicated. On July 10, 1858, when running for president, Lincoln spoke to an audience in Chicago declaring that all men are created equal, regardless of race. But on September 18, 1858, a mere two months later, here is what Lincoln had to say in Charleston. I will say then that I'm not nor ever have been in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of the white and black races. Wow, is this the same man? More than that, is this honest, Abe? The answer is yes. The first speech was in the northern part of the United States, where most people were against slavery. The second speech was in the south, where the majority favored the superior status of the white race. Lincoln lied because he knew that if he told his truth that he abhorred slavery in the south, there was no chance, no chance that he would become president. Had Lincoln been honest, a pro-slavery president would have sat in the White House, and who knows when or if slavery would have been abolished. Lincoln had a right versus right decision to make. It was right to be honest. He knew that better than anyone else, perhaps. At the same time, it was right to abolish slavery. We all face right versus right decisions throughout our lives, where it is not at all clear which choice is better. Do we lay off employees when the company is struggling, or do we keep everyone on board? Do we refuse our children an extra candy, or do we make them happy by saying yes? Some right versus right decisions are relatively easy. Others are anything but. According to my teacher and business school professor, Joseph Badaracco, the times when we're called to make these decisions, whether at home or at work, these are our defining moments. Are you facing a difficult choice between two conflicting paths that both have their merits? Will you need to disappoint someone or compromise on some value in order not to disappoint someone else and compromise another value? Think about one personal and one professional dilemma that you're facing. Write about them. The key to making the best possible right versus right decision is taking time to think about the consequences of choosing one path rather than the other. This could mean a few minutes for the easier decisions or, where possible, days or months for tougher decisions. Give yourself however long you need or can take. After all, these decisions define who you are, whether as a parent, a colleague, or the President of the United States.